This is Project Last Chance, my 1967 Chevy C10. We've LS swapped this truck, put a whole bunch of goodies in it, and took it on the Hot Rod Power Tour 2022. Drove it from Daytona Beach to Nashville, Tennessee for the Southeastern Truck Nationals. But now it's time to address the paint. We got some patina sauce from Sweet Patina, and I'm gonna show you guys how you can preserve the patina on your project. Here's what Sweet Patina sent us for this project. They sent us their So Fresh and Clean All-Purpose Cleaner, their Happy Ending Detail Spray, their Sweet Patina Sauce, and their Century Polish. Now, you can use these products in a couple of different ways, depending on what condition your paint's in, but instead of talking to you about it, what we're gonna do is jump right into cleaning the paint and applying these products. I think the roof is a good place to start. Uh, to get this paint prepped for the Patina Sauce, uh, I'm gonna use CLR and Barkeeper's Friends. So I've been told that uh, you know, one person recommends using CLR, another recommends using Barkeeper's Friend, but uh, I'm gonna try them out and see what I like the best, what I like working with the best, and see if there's any difference in the two. I feel like CLR is gonna take the W on this one, but we'll see. So we're just gonna do a 50-50 mix of CLR with uh, deionized water. I have a, a pressure washer here that has a water deionizer. So you get that spotless uh, car wash. So what we'll do is we'll just, uh, Fill it halfway up, and then uh, we're gonna shake up our CLR. And before I start this, I am gonna go put on some gloves. Grab one of these pads. So this is a light Scotch-Brite pad. It's supposed to be a really light uh, cutting to help kind of cut through all this, uh, all this stuff right here, but. We'll go ahead, let's spray this with the CLR. I think the direction said to let it sit for a couple of minutes, but uh, we're just gonna go ahead and start rubbing. See what happens. Okay. It's a little frothy. Definitely have an improvement up here this stuff's pretty, pretty jacked up. So we definitely did get some, uh, did get some color back, get some of that stuff off of there. So uh, now that we did that, let's do Barkeeper's Friend, which what I'll do with this is just, uh, just wet the surface a little bit. And then uh, apply it directly on the paint. Get a new Scotch Bright pad and kind of work this in here. Let's see how that does. See, I don't think that the barkeeper's friend did as good of a job. Uh, it doesn't feel like it brought as much of the white paint. So let's uh, let's try to hit this with uh, some CLR there. Let's do, uh, I might just stick with the CLR. I feel like it's gonna do a little bit better job with the rust. Let's kinda let it dwell. While it's dwelling, what I was gonna say on the uh, So Fresh and Clean multi-purpose cleaner is you can actually use that to clean the paint prior to using the Century Polish. If you, want, if you had a truck, let's say, that had really good paint on it, a really good original paint or a single stage paint, and you just wanted to bring that life back, you could hit it with that all-purpose cleaner and then you hit it with the Century Polish and that's really gonna like bring that paint back to life. You could hit that either by hand, which would be crazy if you did, uh, or you could hit it with like an orbital polisher or a rotary buffer. I would probably recommend like a rotary polisher, like a, DA, a dual action rotary polisher with a foam pad. That'd probably be uh, the best setup for that type of uh, application. You just have to worry about gumming up the pad and make sure you clean it out because um, that single stage paint will come off um, and clog your, clog your pad quite a bit. I think that's what we're gonna use. I think we're gonna do the CLR in the spray bottle. Um, it seems like it'd be easier to apply 
uh, versus the barkeeper's friend trying to sprinkle it on. I'm sure, I'm sure I could probably mix it in with some water in a spray bottle, but I think we're just gonna roll with the CLR. So it feels pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna wet sand it. I don't wanna sand through all this paint. I'm gonna leave it as is. And uh, once we get all of the truck done, we're gonna hit the, uh, start working on the sweet patina sauce. I ended up switching from the CLR to the So Fresh and So Clean all-purpose cleaner. Uh, it was much more pleasant to work with and I didn't really see a difference in performance. Really all you're trying to do at this point is clean the contaminants out of the paint. Now if you had a vehicle that had paint that was in better condition than my truck, I wouldn't recommend using the light Scotch-Brite pad because it could mar the paint if you apply too much pressure. So really the goal is just to clean the dirt and contaminants out of the paint. Now that we've scuffed the entire truck with a light Scotch-Brite pad and all-purpose cleaner, I want it to be a little bit more glossy before we put on the sweet patina sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and grab their Century Polish with a orange cutting pad, light cutting pad, and uh, see if we can't bring back a little bit of shine to this paint before we put on the sauce. I'm definitely no pro when it comes to cutting and buffing paint, but we're gonna start with a small area up here to see how it looks, and if we don't like it, we'll just go ahead and move right on to applying the sauce. Do four or five drops, dime size drops on there. Spread it a little bit. I've actually never buffed patina before, so we'll see how this looks. Spread it around. You can kind of see right here, I don't know if you can see it from that angle, but you see where the pad came over and it's a little, the color's not as deep over here, the primer, it's not really paint. But yeah, we'll just roll with that and see what happens. Not polished. Polished. If I had a hard line right here, you could see it, but that's what we're going for right there. Okay. okay, now we got to clean out our pad. So the single stage paint, the paint comes off into the pad and uh, clogs up your pad so it doesn't cut as well. So uh, this is supposed to be orange and it's the body color. Um, so what I like to do is take my pressure washer, pressure wash out the, uh, the paint. Give her a squeeze. And then I'll put it back on the DA, spin it to get all the water out and let it sit to dry and I'll grab our other pad. Yeah, I don't wanna basically do this. After I polished half the truck, I realized I'm going to have to wet sand the paint to get the look I'm going after and to get the surface rust off the top of the cab. But that's going to be a future project. So we're gonna continue polishing the paint to get ready to apply the sweet patina sauce. I just wrapped up polishing the entire truck and then I walked around with isopropyl alcohol, sprayed it down and got rid of the remaining residue from the Century Polish. Now it's time for the sauce. Now, before I put this on, this is a huge disclaimer. Your rags that you use for this product, you do not want to throw them in the garbage can. This has boiled linseed oil in the product and that is known to spontaneously combust if the rags are not properly disposed of. So what you're going to want to do is after you apply the patina sauce, you're going to want to lay these rags outside and let them dry for 24 hours before disposing of them. So let's put on the sauce.
This stuff is literally wipe on and wipe off. Once you wipe the product on, you let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then you come back and buff off the excess with a new rag. So we're gonna let this sit and keep moving. It's been about 15 minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and start buffing off the uh, patina sauce. Whoops. All right, it looks good. Instead of showing you guys me going and putting this stuff on the rest of the truck, let's cut to the finished products. Well, the paint on the truck looks amazing, and we got the sweet patina sauce on right before our family photos. And I gotta say, this truck as the backdrop to our family pictures was perfect. Now, the sweet patina sauce is a boiled linseed oil-based product, which means it will wear off the paint over time, almost like a carnauba wax. You will have to reapply a couple times a year, depending on how much the vehicle is outside. You could go for a more permanent solution with a clear coat. Just keep in mind, if that clear coat ever failed, you'd probably have to strip the entire vehicle and repaint it. We'll drop a link below to Sweet Patina's website and products that we used. If you guys like this video, please like it, comment down below, share it with your friends and family. We would greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe to the Street Trucks YouTube channel, but that's gonna do it for me on this video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.